Welcome! In this video, we will conduct a search in ScienceDirect, look at ways to limit or refine our results, and access and save articles. When you click on the link to ScienceDirect, you're taken here to the Advanced Search form. To begin your search, you can fill in one or a combination of search fields. You can search for articles that contain your search terms, and you can also search within specific parts of a document, such as the journal or book title. View all your search field options by clicking on Show All Fields. You can also browse within journal and book publications. Let's look for information on breast cancer. I'm surrounding breast cancer in quotation marks so that the database searches for these words as an exact phrase. If searching with multiple terms, you can use Boolean operators to combine your search terms. Say I'm interested in finding information on how individuals with breast cancer manage their experience of stress. I'll add stress management as a search term and connect these terms with a Boolean operator. Note that if you're using the Boolean operator not, it is written as and not, or as a minus sign in front of the term that you wish to exclude. For more tips on using Boolean operators in ScienceDirect, click on Search Tips. I'm going to use the Boolean operator AND to bring up results that contain both of my search terms. In the year field, I'd like to limit the date to the past 10 years and we'll type in 2010 to 2020. Under article type, I'm interested in looking at review articles and research articles. When ready, click search. We see our search terms in the gray section at the top of the results page, and our custom date range is right beneath it. By default, ScienceDirect lists results by relevance, which means that the database retrieved documents that best reflect our search terms. To the left of the page, we see the number of results and more ways to refine our results by years, article type, publication title, and access type. You'll notice our results are limited to review and research articles, which we selected from the advanced search form. To apply a limiter, click inside a checkbox and click again to undo it. Clicking on subscribe journals will limit your results to content that Bellevue College subscribes to. Let's take a closer look at a record. The presence of a green dot means you have full text access to this article. Each record will display the title of the article the source and other bibliographic information you will use for your citations. To see if this is an article you would like to explore, read a summary by clicking Abstract. Now let's take a look at the article. I'm going to right click and open this article in a new tab in case I want to keep it open as I continue to browse the results page. Here we have the journal title, volume number, year, and page numbers. Below the article title is author information, and below that is a DOI link, a permalink that is a unique identifier for the article, which you will likely include in your citation. It will enable you to directly link to this article. To the left is the outline of the article. Use the outline to jump to any section within the article. On the right-hand side of the page is additional information that you may find useful, such as works that have cited this article. If you decide that this is an article that you want to save, you can download the article by clicking on the PDF icon located at the top of the page or from the results page. Note that if you go back to the results page, you are able to download multiple articles at once. You can modify your search from here or return to the advanced search form to make changes to your search criteria. For questions about using ScienceDirect or any of our other resources, please contact the library. Happy searching!